In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a reflective 3D text in After Effects without using any plugins. Let's jump to the tutorial. First, I'm going to create a new composition, name it Render. It will be a 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. Then open a 3D Render tab. For the render, make sure you select Cinema 4D and then click OK. Now I'm going to select the Type tool from here and type the text to something like 3D. I'm using the Integral Bold font for this. Then I'll simply select the text layer down here and press S on the keyboard to increase the scale of the text, something like that. Then I'll align it in the center using the Align tab. Now we need to make the text 3D by checking this box. If you do not see the colon, click Toggle Switch as it modes until you do and make the layer 3D by checking the box. Now let's create the camera. For that we go up to Layer New Camera. And I'm choosing the 35mm preset, then simply click OK. Now let's select the camera orbit tool, this one, and rotate the camera slightly so we can see the text from the side, so something like that. We can see that the text is completely flat and there is no depth, no extrusion to it, so let's go ahead and add some right. First I'm going to select the selection tool, then I'll open the geometry options for the text. And uh, for the extrusion depth, as you start increasing it, you can see the text is getting extruded, so I'll set extrusion depth to 50. But we can see the text still looks very flat because we don't have any shadows yet. And the way we add shadows is by adding light layers. So before we start adding light layers, make sure you set the views to two views. And then this one to top view. So you'd have the top view of the text on the right and the regular view on the left. We're going to use the top view to adjust the positions of our lights that we create. So let's go ahead and add light layers. Let's go up to layer new light. And for the light type, I'm choosing a parallel light, color white, intensity 100, and cast shadows is on, click OK. And this is the light that we've created. You can already see the shadows and how much nicer the text looks. So we, I'm simply going to select the light and place it to the bottom left corner like that. And then you get this point of interest that you can point the light toward. And I'll simply point it toward the texts like that. Now I'll select the light layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And then I'll simply drag the light, the duplicated light to the other side, so the bottom right corner, and do the same with the point of interest, simply point it toward the text, like that. Now I'll select both of these lights, and press Ctrl D to duplicate them, and I'll move them across to the other side, so they would be behind our text, to something like that, and point both of those to, to the text as well. So... We've created the lights from all different sides pointing toward our text. So let's go ahead and create the reflection now. So I've included the HDRI image uh, into the project file. You can download and use it if you want. Or if you have your own HDRI image or any kind of reflection map, you're more than welcome to use those. So I'm going to go back to the project panel and create a new composition from here. And let's name it Map. Now I'm going to drag the uh, HDRI image in here. I'll scale it up all the way. Then I'll search for Gaussian Blown Effects and Presets. Add it to the uh, Reflection Map or the HDRI image. I'll set Blurriness to 4, very slightly blur it out, and uh, make sure the Repeat Edge Pixels is selected. Now, make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline. Press P for Position. Create Keyframe for, uh, for Position. Then go all the way to the end of the timeline and slightly move the, uh, the map uh, to either side. So something like that to create a slight movement. Now let's go back to the render composition, open up the project panel, and drag and drop the map composition like that. Now right click on it and select environment layer. And the way we bring the reflections, uh, we can switch back to, to the one view by the way. So now let's open up the uh, properties of the text, go into the material options and find the reflection intensity it will be set to zero so it's just increase it you can start seeing the reflections on the text so i'll set mine to 100 percent and also let's set specular shininess to 50 percent and that will give us a very very nice reflection as you can see and let's also enable the uh, cast shadows so in here cast shadows so it's, it'll be set to off so you just enable it and you'll get extra noise shadows in the the text now once that's done, let's add a slight color correction to everything. So let's create a new adjustment layer for layer, new adjustment layer. Then search for curves and effects and presets and add it to the adjustment layer. 
let's create a slight S-shaped curve. So a point here, bring it down, then a point here and bring it up. Then I'll switch to the blue channel and slightly increase it like that to give a text a very nice blue tint. And now for the animating the text, uh, working in 3D is very heavy on the system and the pre previews will be very slow. So what I suggest you do is click on this draft 3D toggle. So as you do that, the reflections will be gone, everything is gone, but this is ideal for animating because the previews will be very, very quick with this. So I'm going to move to the beginning of the timeline. I'll select the camera, open its properties, transform and create keyframes for point of interest and position. I'll select the third camera tool and zoom into the letter D like that. And I'll select the camera orbit tool and slightly change the angle to something like that. So that looks good. Now I'll go to five seconds, select the third camera tool and zoom into the uh, three like that. Then I'll select the second camera tool and slightly move the camera to the left. And in the end, we should get this nice panning to the left. As you can see, previews are still a bit slow, so you can always drop to the half. And that is the animation we're getting. So once you create the animation, select all the keyframes, right-click any of them, keyframe assistance, easy ease, or just press F9 as a shortcut. And once you've done the animation, you can click the draft 3D toggle and the reflections and everything will be back. So again, one thing we forgot to do is add bevels to the text. Let's open up the text. And open the geometry options and by default bevel style is set to none and here you get three different options i really like the angular one so as i select it you can see how much nicer that makes the text look you get these nice bevels that you also get to adjust so once you've done those we can go ahead and preview the text of course you're more than welcome to experiment with different camera angles to create your own custom animation i'm just showing you the way of doing it and the rest is up to you and that is how you create a reflective 3D text in After Effects without using any plugins. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new in this tutorial. If you did, do not forget to leave a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.